Good afternoon and good evening to all of my combo fans out there. It's me, your captain speaking, and if you give me just one minute, I'm going to let you and everybody that you care about know that this stream is happening right now. So keep your arms, legs, and other appendages in the vehicle at all times as we move forward to a fun time. I'll be right back. Can you spend? Hello everybody. Hi Jason. It has been a little while. I was out of state last week and I am coming back super pumped and energized to where I mean just look at the deck list right next to us. It's gonna be a blast. We are playing Dream Halls in Legacy. Michael, hello. Thanks for hanging out and chat. I got your answers. Uh, you need to get me a couple of things and then we can we can wrap a few other things up. So we are playing Dream Halls and Show and Tell together in a Simic build. Now, what you know probably Show and Tell, right? Legacy combo deck, but what is Dream Halls? Dream Halls is an enchantment. Rather than pay the mana cost for a spell, its controller may discard a card that shares a color with that spell. Now, just like show and tell, this effect is symmetrical. Therefore, while we can put a Traxa Grand Unifier on the stack by pitching an Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath, they, our opponent, can also do something similar, right? Play a Brainstorm by pitching a Ponder. The goal is that we have cooler, bigger, more amazing things to do with our dream halls than our opponent does. So, um, 
this is kind of the goal. Unfortunately, like normal, unlike normal show and tell decks, we can't play Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn, because this says shares a color and colorless is not a color. It doesn't function quite the same way. Um, so that's kind of the, the caveat, but just kind of like Omniscience, we can cast pretty ridiculous spells, which is why we have a few turn timber symbioses in the si in the mana base. Uh, it can be a land when we want it to be, but also it's a fantastic effect when we actually cast it. Um, one with the multiverse, Apex Devastator, Maelstrom Wanderer, Atraxa Grand Unifier. This whole package is gonna be incredible. And I am super excited to test this out. Bryant ran this a uh, few months back and I have left the main deck mostly the same. Um, it actually might be exactly the same, but I have made some changes. Oh no, I changed up the mana base. I got rid of two snow covered forests and I just added another snow covered island. Uh, the, the second snow covered forest was a consideration for Uro, um, however, I feel like I would rather have the blue count uh, than a second basic green source. And then in the sideboard, I actually have Beseju and two Dismember. Dismember is a fantastic card right now against the goblins and uh, in, in uh, initiative of the world. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. I also, maybe it'll come up, maybe we already have an Atraxa on the battlefield and I can pitch Atraxa to cast a dismember without losing any life thanks to dream halls. I don't know, are we gonna live the dream? We are certainly going to try. And uh, let me catch up with chat really quick. Oh yeah, Spicy, I heard really good things at the state championship, that's awesome. And then Jason, Oh, hey, congrats on going back to school next week. The last semester, that is fantastic. Um, I look forward to, you know, seeing how you do and, and catching you on the uh, flip side of that. That's gonna be really fun. And then Moses, yeah, this deck list looks really fun. I'm not so sure about the Sylvan libraries. Um, these could be other things. And then the main deck carpet of flowers. I mean, there's a lot of control out there, but a lot, some of it has been shifting to bug control, Sultai control uh, that has Wither Bloom command. So the carpet is not quite at its best against those decks, of course, but I, I don't know, maybe it'll work out. So uh, I did not get a haircut. No, I've still got my long hair. Uh, I did get a new webcam though. This is um, a lot better, my, my whole, face looks not lit up like a white billboard. Um, so I've, I've got a little bit better color control and lighting coordination to go along with a nice webcam. So a little bit of an upgrade for you all and watching your your enjoyment. Yeah, normal the band, it's HD. It's, it's actually, uh, I'm not doing it, but it's a 4K60 webcam. It is, uh, you can actually take a look in the links in the video description. Or it, no, it's gonna be the pinned comment. In the pinned comment, once this is a YouTube video, you'll have a little bit of info about my streaming setup. So yeah, I am already queued up for a league and I'm gonna get this started so that we can start living the dream. That's kind of the, the goal today. Um, so. I, uh, I hope that the webcam imparts a noticeable quality improvement from previous streams. Maybe after this stream you go watch, don't watch some of the old ones, those are really cringe, but watch maybe the last one or the last couple and see if you can notice a change. I certainly have, and I think that it's just gonna be a little bit better than having my big forehead as a, um, a beacon of Gondor as it is, right? Um, so 
While we're waiting on our first opponent, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our sponsor, Card Hoarder. They're who I rented the cards to play this league with, and they're an awesome sponsor of the channel. Let me give you a second to, oh, never mind. Okay, here we go for round number one. No talking about sponsors. We are getting into the action, and we won the die roll, so this is fantastic. Uh, I think that my, I could adjust it just a little bit. Okay, my sidebar is now correct. And well, this is Island Ponder Keep and I have several land drops and several creatures. I, w I really just need a show and tell. Now I don't have any interaction but I think I'm going to keep this. I'm gonna keep this and Ponder is going to be pulling its weight right now. Um, but we don't need to worry about land drops. We've got those. So we're just finding a show and tell or a dream halls and some extra lands. This is not gonna cut it. So we're gonna shuffle and we found another land and another basic land, importantly, so that might be something important. Um, no Mutant Bryant, yeah, we, I'm never gonna live that down. Uh, that's just fine. And then uh, Dream Halls or Show Hotel, that's exactly what we're going for, Jason. And then Ponder could be anything. It could even be Interaction, which is, yes, I didn't wanna say we don't have, but okay, Death and Taxes, that's gonna be fine. Likely Death and Taxes. They revealed a Yorion, by the way. Um, which makes me really grateful for, ooh, that'll be fun later, uh, makes me really grateful that I have these basic lands to fetch. Um, so I'm nice, nicely done here. Oh, you have it on your YouTube profile. Uh, the YouTube integrations now um, have like the most popular clips for the Epic Storms YouTube channel on the home page of the Epic Storm. Like if you scroll down, you can look at um, popular clips. So that was kind of fun to see some of the highlight reels of mostly Bryant um, either crashing and burning or living the dream or something along those lines. It was kind of fun. Okay, Rashad and Port and I'm going to just leave this fetch land ready to go. It could be a green source, it could be a blue source. Who knows? If I draw another ponder, I'll be very excited. Uh, that's not a ponder. Okay. Um, so luckily, Ancient Tomb is not keyworded like City of Brass. Is it City of Brass? Yeah. City of Brass deals one damage when it's tapped regardless of if it's an activated tap that you did or a Rashadenport tap. So Ancient Tomb is not worded like that. I, my opponent can't shock me every single turn by just porting my Ancient Tomb. So that's nice. Um, Joe, the shell game of Monster versus Solitude or Omni versus Lorne, yeah. Uh, Without Thoughtsies in my list. You know, Joe, you have a pretty good Thoughtsies based show and tell list. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you guys want to see Demir show and tell, Omni tell, as it were, um, you could do a lot of cool things by checking out that list. Uh, I'm sure that it's on MTG Goldfish and results in a 5 0 dump or some challenge results or something like that. Uh, there's a wasteland for the ancient tomb. Okay. Uh, data spot. Oh, hi, John. Uh, Yorian's playing Aether Vial. You're just jumping into DNT. Yeah. Um, bold strategy. This is going to take a little bit, isn't it? My opponent is wisely not attacking with the Mother of Runes. Not that I'm going to do anything about it. Show and tell. So I can do that next turn. I will not pay. And away we go. Next turn, I can bolt in the, the, the what is it? Turn timber serpentine wood. And show and tell in uh, probably an Atraxa. Okay. Vial up to three. 
Now the big fatty plus solitude or swords to plowshares, not at its best, right? I don't have interaction and my opponent can interact with the Atraxa trigger on the stack or just by, you know, showing in a solitude in general, just like Joe was saying. Um, but we can make it work. We might even, I mean, they're not pressuring us in the slightest. They're just playing this mana denial plan that's not really working out very well. And what I can do is just play this Sylvan library and dig towards, now this could be a, uh, a Lauren, right? Um, but I could play this Sylvan library and just get some protection going. I think that that might actually be the best option here. Or I could Uro. Uh, Uro might be, Uro might be a little bit better. Let's do that actually. So it's gonna be net neutral in terms of life gain. So I'm losing three life to play out the turn timber and then I'm going to gain three life as soon as the Uro trigger resolves. Um, so we, uh, no extra land, that's unfortunate, but double show and tell is not the worst thing in the world. We are not playing Omniscience, Joe. We're, we're not doing it. We are playing the Dream Halls instead, um, which is, you know, a little interesting. It's a little bit different. Okay, activating Vial at my end step. Recruiter of the Guard is gonna find something. Might be a Lion Sash to deal with this Uro. That might not be something that they care about. They might be getting a Stoneforge Mystic to get a Cauldra into the battlefield or something like that. I don't know. Or something, oh, Stoneforge it is. Okay, cool. keeping the vial on three, they have the potential. Okay, there's a double port. That sucks. Hopefully they, okay, they stoneforge instead of double porting. That makes me a lot happier. I'm gonna sneeze uh, at some point in the next little bit. Maybe I can hold it off, but gonna try to mute myself before that suddenly comes up on me. Okay, so they can show and tell this Cauldra in. It's not a big deal. Okay, porting a blue source still, not bad. Um, Okay, so now they have some threats and I'm going to kind of get the party started here um, because this might be a two turn line in me showing tell, show and telling Atraxa in, grabbing a bunch of cards with Atraxa. I still have my land drop this turn and then show and tell next turn to kind of seal the deal. So. That's kind of the goal here. They have five cards in hand and I know about one of them. If they're going to solitude here, that would be kind of a heartbreaker, but yep, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> this doesn't necessarily work all the time, right? There's the playing chicken with solitude when I put in dream halls or something like that. Speaking of dream halls is right here. So that's going to be a, <clears throat> hmm. an enchantment, a creature, an instant and a land and a, is that it? Oh, that's a sorcery. And then, and then the instant. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think I want force of will over a brainstorm and then all of the rest of it. And I want the island instead of the ancient tomb. I think that seems reasonable to me. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. Play out the basic. And then we're going to go to discard. And we're going to discard probably the Sylvan Library and the Show and Tell. Okay. And like I said, this is going to be a little bit more like a two turn line um, to find out the best possible route to victory. Now, they still could have something to disrupt the dream halls, but I think that we're going to be okay. Okay, so discard the Sylvan Library and the additional show and tell. And my goal is to, uh, they're gonna port me uh, some amount, and what I'm gonna want to do is show and tell in the dream halls. Um, I'm gonna have enough mana to do that, even if they leave up double port. I still have Force of Will open, uh, but I would like to use my pitch for casting like Maelstrom Wanderers and Apex Devastators and the like instead of Force of Wills, but we're gonna have to see what happens. Okay, cracking in for, is this nine? Falling to 16. And then they have a uh, Rishadden port open, available, and we'll see what we can do. I think that we're gonna get there this turn. Uh, four cards. If they don't port me, then I'm expecting something like a Swords to Plowshares, but they are porting me. They're porting me off of green. Interesting switch up. I guess it's because of the Uro. Um, I have the blue or the green source anyway. Uh, however, we're going to just get started on a show and tell with the dream halls and see if they have some kind of enchantment based removal flicker wisp will do it that's not quite gonna that's not gonna do everything that we want Uh, can we just Dream Halls? Did we have... Oh, I drew the Lotus Petal. I could have just hard cast the Dream Halls. Mm. Well, they had the Vile, so it wasn't gonna necessarily matter, but that is the better route. Make them use the Vial. Um, also, hello, Sir Noble. Within, without time. Mm-hmm. So here we go. They had the Flicker Wisp. Um, we're still alive. We're not really under threat right now to dying. Um, it's a lot of damage, but chooses not to use Aether Vial's ability. Okay, cool. Uh, so Jason, the timing still, the, the timing restrictions still apply to dream halls. This doesn't allow us to cast things whenever we want. Um, and I can only cast creatures when I have priority and the stack is clear. So, um, unfortunately no instant speed attracts us. Otherwise that would be nutso busto and I would love that. Not going to happen, unfortunately. Um, as it stands, we can, you know, still Atraxa and then Apex Devastator and see where things go. This is 5, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14 damage if they want to attack with everything. They probably won't. Yeah, and there's the mother, so this is 13 damage. I'm going to 3. And... I have to do something now. Um, they started ticking up Vile for Yorion, which I think is just fine. It means that they don't have 
um, like a Lauren that they're going to flash in. They can have one now, I suppose. They're trying to pay costs. Um, we'll see what that means. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not getting ported right now. They just put Yorion in hand. And they pitched it. Okay. So, oh. They discarded Thalia. And they're going to uh, bounce the Flicker Wisp. The Flicker Wisp is. Go oh, I should. There's a force of will in my hand. There is a force of will in my hand. And I said, nah, I'm okay. I can let the Yorion resolve. That's not going to do anything. Not realizing that Flicker Wisp is going to get rid of my Dream Halls. And it's going to present some problems for me. So uh, that was that was my own fault. Um, <clears throat> a bit silly. We are kind of dead. Yes, mana is overrated, shaky. I enjoy playing zero for things. Um, however, I'm not going to have the opportunity at all this game because I. Just, you know, this force of will that I very actively put in my hand and my opponent just played directly into it is uh, rotting in my hand. So, yes, Mike, we are going to top deck another hall um, and everything's going to be just fine. Nope. Okay. Well, that, I guess I could Uro. Just... I don't think that I'm drawing to anything. Okay, so I actually am drawing to an ancient tomb plus a show and tell potentially. Uh, this brainstorm could be perfect and we can do everything we want, but this is not gonna be quite perfect enough. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to seal our fate. Okay, we were super close, but I did just punt the heck out of that last turn cycle. So, we're going to tighten up a little bit and recognize that I can, in fact, interact on the stack. That is something that's available for me to do. So. Once that's known, once that's a known quantity, then we can make adjustments accordingly. Um, so we have the ability to shave on something like Atraxa. Um, I don't think that I want to do that. Uh, yeah, Force of Will is card dis disadvantage. I should be used to playing something like that. I play Chrome Boxes, um, but Currently didn't do anything. So let's put the Sylvan Library away and then just bring in some removal and dress downs. Um, I like that kind of a plan. The other option that I'm kind of looking at is Beseju. I'm not sure if it's gonna hit anything that I really care about. Um, I don't think that it's going to do much. Uh, I'm gonna keep it in because I have one, I have a split pair. Um, there we go. Okay, the sneeze is done for now. Uh, but I'm going to keep the Beseju in just in case, plus the land. I think that it's fine, but doubling up on the Beseju doesn't seem particularly necessary here. Uh, no needles for something like uh, Caracas. I have a Caracas of my own, but yeah, Joe, I, you know, I was thinking about that after I kind of submitted this, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of cold to Caracas. Um, I have Apex Devastator as just a giant 10-10 beater boy. Um, and I have the potential to overload my opponent's Caracas by, you know, having a legendary 7-5 and a legendary 7-7 seven, seven and a legendary 6-6. Six, six. Uh, all that have haste. Uh, well, I mean, they can just bounce the Maelstrom Wanderer and I don't have haste anymore. But um, 
I can I can kind of tax them that way. So yeah, shaky. Uh, what do people actually play in Legacy? If you're wanting to be competitive, we actually have an awesome meta breakdown and tier list up on our website, theepicstorm.com. Um, Alex McKinley wrote a really, really nice um, article about that. I'm going to keep this. Um, essentially, Delver, Fair Blue, Control decks that are playing Uro or Merktide Regent. Some, right now, it's currently like Sultai Beans that play uh, Up the Beanstalk and Force of Will as a little Wombo combo. And then there's other beans based control decks that are playing things like fourth Aloringas and then the Delver Secrets based tempo decks that are either Grixis or Teamer right now. Um, and then, yeah, and you can also play Burn, I suppose. Uh, and then if you want to play Combo, Doomsday is really good. The Epic Storm is a classically good deck against the fair blue of the meta but it's kind of hitting a little bit of a rough spot because the other things that you can be doing are ancient tomb decks and not show and tell ancient tomb decks but boros initiative in uh ancient tomb decks or goblins with the name sticker goblin that can power out quick muxuses or moon stompy that just ridiculously power out things with ancient tomb. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things to do. Now I'm not going to dismember a mother of runes because I have this dress down that I can turn off any problematic creature um, if I need to. So I'm just gonna leave it be and kind of keep things as is. Um, okay, want to buy into Modo, specifically Legacy. Money isn't necessarily a barrier. You know what you should actually do is rent decks. We have an awesome sponsor, Card Hoarder, which I actually was using Card Hoarder before I uh, b before the channel got sponsored. But you can rent decks and test out a bunch of different things to learn what you do and don't like. Um, and yeah, Joe is hitting it all up right there. The rentals are the way to go, I think. Um, I think that that's probably your best bet. And then, um, Moto is great because, you know, you want to try out Dream Hall's show and tell combo then fantastic you can run through a league and you're like oh my gosh i hate this let's try something different you want to play burn you're like oh my god i hate playing against uro okay fine and you play the epic storm you're like oh my god i love this this is a perfect deck then obviously you're going to stick with that for the rest of your life and never change anything um field of ruins F field of ruin excuse me just the one field is not at its best here because it turns out I'm running five basics, which is really nice. Um, Flicker Wisp. Okay, what are we flickering? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, just the, just their own. They're they're playing a three one that it's ends up being a two mana three one because they leave up the planes. All good by me and that is a pretty good uh, show and tell target I get it I get it I know um, but drawing the cards is probably gonna be good enough and let me shave out uh, an island here and I will play off of the Ancient Tomb. Um, yeah, they, they don't have up Containment Priest, which is just fine. It doesn't... I mean, Containment Priest would stop me anyway, right? Um, but that's just fine. Oh my god! Okay, they put in a Traxa. That is a fantastic option. Um, okay, that was slick opponent. They have two Caracas. 
Let's go with this. We have Dream Halls as an enchantment and a Misty Rainforest as a land. I don't think that I want the Besaju. Uh, Ponder as a sorcery and then probably another Atraxa as a creature. Uh, this is gonna give me the, the uh, cards that I need to turn this Dream Halls into something really, really good. Um, and then I also have this Turn Timber Symbiosis, which I'm particularly excited about. So uh, let's ponder now. Oh, I can't ponder now. Um, so let's see, am I going to discard through the spirit? Double, Dress down in hand lets my, me double ponder to find the next show. I can't pick up two ponders. Um, and I am going to need to go to discard here. And I think that I can just discard the... Um, probably... Probably the Misty Rainforest, actually. Um... I don't have a land drop, and then they're gonna bounce this in my hand. So I'm actually gonna be discarding two cards. What I could do is ponder to set up my draw in the future, and then just discard like the uh, redundant uh, Misty Rainforest. Um, hmm. This is a tough one. Uh. Yeah, it's probably worth just spending the mana now. That's fine. And then I have the ability to draw a blue card, which I think is just really important because then that can be my pitch to play Atraxa and get things started. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna keep this. No shuffle. Don't draw a card. And then, yes, double dismember, turn, kills spirit through the mom, which is important. Uh, maybe not super important because, um, like, I don't think that I care about spirit because I'm not drawing cards and then I can just cascade a bunch of times. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then I can discard the misty rainforest and see where things go um i did just keep a brainstorm but that's my pitch card to, to like dream halls and then pitch the brainstorm to cast the atraxa um i'm not planning on casting the brainstorm i just need to use it as a pitch card because i'm not going to be casting it anytime soon um and then i can pick up the instant dismember off of the Atraxa trigger after I dream halls. You know, at least that's the goal here. And then I could either cast an Apex Devastator with ridiculous 4X Cascade, or I can play Turn Timber Symbiosis, which could also be really fun. Now I'm lower on clock here, so I don't think that it's a concern yet, Ooh, they're tapping. Oh, okay. Flicker Wisp. Uh, they can Flicker Wisp, and then what they're going to do is actually Flicker the Ancient Tomb so that I don't have the mana. Um, yeah. To cast the Dream Halls, and then they have just lethal. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is dress down and brainstorm to see what shakes loose. Um, not super excited about that. That was not a fun, uh, the other, the additional flicker wisp is going to win them the game. Uh, cutting me off of two mana is so much better than holding up Caracas. So I think that we're just 
deceased here, but maybe I can find a show and tell and a lotus petal and an ancient tomb all in this brainstorm that I know is going to hit a, a <laughs> land, a prismatic vista and a uh, dismember. So I'm not, this is not going to happen, but. Okay, we are deceased. Uh, I can't, you know, play a land and dismember one of these flicker wisps and survive. So uh, our opponent got there in the end. They played really pretty tightly uh, and got rewarded. So we're gonna lose this one. I punted in round number or game number one. Uh, because Force of Will was rotting in my hand and I totally could have countered uh, Yorion, <laughs> but uh, that would have only forced a game three. This game two was very much so in my opponent's hand, it seemed. So we're going to play a league, and uh, play another match in this league, excuse me, and I'm going to run a card hoarder rental account ad. Uh, shaky, uh, if you want to learn a little bit about this so you're not playing Armageddon, in the um, then <laughs> things are a little bit better and you can test them out in a uh, rental account. So let me have Bryant talk to you about that one. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Alrighty, and here we are still waiting for our opponent, but that's alright. Um... I am very, I, I honestly, I think that this is an okay deck, uh, but Death and Taxes is traditionally pretty good against show and tell um, in general. Uh, just like Joe was mentioning before, Thoughtseize smooths that out instead of playing green like this for Veil of Summer or red for Sneak Attack. Um, but, you know, something that I was thinking about, when you're playing Sneak Attack, that's a four mana enchantment, one mana activate it, so it is similar in cost to Dream Halls, which is a five mana enchantment with no activation, but, um, you know, some card disadvantage to get things rolling, and you don't have the ability to play something like Emrakul, which we talked about in the deck tech, but... Simic kind of Omni show decks have struggled in the past with having something other than show and tell, and you can reasonably cast Dream Halls um, and start going from there. So this five mana enchantment is really reasonable as opposed to like an Omniscience that is the alternative show and tell target to Dream Halls. I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to lead off on the Misty Rainforest, and maybe we can brainstorm some things. And uh, I've got a Sylvan Library, so things are looking pretty okay with this hand. No interaction. Brainstorm might be able to fix that. We'll see how that, let's see how all of that goes. Um, all right. And our opponent might be doing something, might not be doing something uh, fun or exciting. Swamp. Is this is a Thoughtseize deck? Uh, it's a Grief deck, um, and they got rid of a Snuff Out. Okay, let's see. Um, I think that that's just gonna resolve, and I'll have Veil of Summer as a potential. Um, I could brainstorm the. Oh my gosh, I should brainstorm the Atraxo away. They're a reanimate deck. I totally did not think about that one. Um, yes, absolutely. As soon as you said that, Joe, uh, they have reanimate, and reanimate does not target something in your graveyard. It's in any graveyard. So they very likely. Uh, okay, nope, never mind. They don't have it. Cool. Um, I feel like I dodged a bullet there. Stalactite Stalker. Okay. I've been hearing about this, um, and they're going to be able to put a plus one, plus one counter on it, so it's a 2-2 two, two with Menace, and then they can just keep rolling, running and gunning with it. 
So I like brainstorm right now before they have something like a Bowmaster Force of Will is a nice pickup. I can put back a uh, Beseju and the additional Atraxa, I think. Um, yeah, John, Punt Counter 2. Maybe I should have that. Maybe I should incorporate that in my, my stream elements. Just a nice little Punt Counter to keep me humble. Not that I need that. I know where I... Uh, oh, oh, show and tell. Okay. Let's see about this. Um, okay, I'm gonna put show and tell one down and then draw the land. I'm not gonna shuffle. Maybe I should have drawn the Sylvan library because then I can, yeah, I should have drawn the Sylvan library. Um, that's okay. Um, I don't think that it's that much of a difference though um, because if I need to pitch something to force of will, then you know, it's gonna be fine. Uh, um, Thoughtseize is kind of tough. I am going to Force of Will and I'm gonna pitch the Dream Halls. They have a Wasteland. I recognize that they're going to be able to Wasteland me. I fetched the other Tropical Island so that I am not as, uh, I'm gonna be affected by Wasteland regardless and I would rather just have smoother mana. Um, but. We'll see how things go. And Jason, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll catch you next week for sure. Um, so we're just taking two point chunks and now it's gonna be three point chunks because they wastelanded me. And we've got ourselves a show and tell and a Sylvan library on top of my library. Uh, they are missing land drops. They just have three spells in their hand. Oh no, wait, they're not missing land drops. They wastelanded me. Okay, um, they are hitting all of their land drops. This looks like a Bowmaster if they're not doing anything else. Um, although, does this look at, okay, yeah. So if they want, they can just crack this and hold up Bowmaster because this checks for descent um, regardless. Oh, and this is like a Rakdos scam deck. Interesting, okay. I don't care about uh, the Sylvan library. I don't want that. And then here we go. They, they're playing black. They very obviously can. Um... Oh, this is pretty good. Okay, cool. So let's do this. We can show and tell one with the multiverse and then cast the Atraxa. That was a really nice pickup. We didn't talk about one with the multiverse, but it's an enchantment. I can look at the top of my library. I can play lands and cast spells from the top of my library. And uh, speaking of which, here it is. Um, turns out I'm not gonna be casting the Sylvan library. I'm going to be doing it with the Atraxa from my hand. Um, guaranteeing an enchantment to put in my hand, as it were. Um, and then once during each of my turns, I can I can do really fun busted things. Okay. So, uh, okay, I can get rid of this carpet of flowers as soon as we go to sideboard. A Sylvan library is gonna be important. And then let's go with Apex Devastator as my creature. Uh, Caracas is an interesting option here as far as land goes. And then either turn timber symbiosis or um, sil uh, ponder as far as my sorcery goes. I think what I'm gonna do is cast the Apex Devastator with one with the multiverse. So turn to timber is not gonna be necessary. I'm gonna want to ponder instead. Um, yeah, so we just drew four cards and ooh, we have a veil of summer. Well, I wish that was in my hand and I had a lotus petal somewhere, but that's gonna be fine. Now this is a four four with menace, uh, not gonna be easily workable. Um, 
I'm not gonna block it anytime soon, but I feel like the quad cascade that I could potentially set up with my ponder and one with the multiverse, just seeing what's on top, um, could do a lot of things. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, uh, John, yeah, we don't have uh, Twitch chat commands. That's not something that YouTube integrates. Um, it's just one of the differences between YouTube and Twitch. There are other strengths to, to YouTube um, that make us choose it over Twitch, but um, the integration with like the actual channel is the main thing. Is kind of take it or leave it. Mm. They are attacking with their Darcy's. Do they have like two lightning bolts? I'm not 100% sure here. They have one lightning bolt targeting their DRC. Okay. Sure. Uh, lightning bolt on their own DRC is an acceptable result of this. Uh, unholy heat. Yeah, that could be a thing too. And now they are attacking for seven. They they got delirium. That DRC. Uh... Okay, cool. They're not gonna beat an Atraxa. Neat. Um, and they're probably not gonna beat the one with the multiverse and the Apex Devastator either, for what it's worth. But we got game number one, and things that I do not want. Um, No de delirium yet. Uh, would have been flipped pre bolt. Yeah, yeah. They didn't. They they attacked and then turned delirium on. Um, but that's all right. So carpet of flowers out. I like the veil of summers. Um, hmm. Do I need the Sylvan libraries? I feel like Sylvan library is not at its best here. Um, I also think that. Uh, dress down's probably not particularly necessary. Dismember is not particularly necessary here. Our creatures are just bigger than theirs. They might have something like a shieldred, but um, I don't. I don't think I care about that. Uh, and then their biggest creature is going to be a troll of Kazadoom that they reanimate, and. Um, Dismember hits that. No, it doesn't hit it. No, it's a 7-6. So Dismember doesn't even hit that. So it's not a big deal. Uh, Endurance is an interesting pickup. But I don't know if I want to cut anything else. I could cut something like... Um, I don't even know if I want... Like, I like the Uro plan here. I feel like that's a really strong plan. Um... And Endurance is not as strong of a plan B. So I think that just bringing the Veil of Summers in is going to be just fine. Um, options include like cutting Ponders because they're a Bowmaster deck. Um, so yeah, Library gets punished by Orcs for sure. Um, and speaking of Orcs, like cutting Ponders is not the worst thing in the world, but... We still are a combo deck that's digging towards show and tell dream halls, so I think that this is going to be good. Brainstorm before ponder? I don't know if I agree with that. I get that uh, both are gotten by Bowmaster, uh, but brainstorm more so, but we can time brainstorm a little bit better. Unfortunately, I am not going to keep this hand. Um, our first mulligan of the evening, and this. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna put back an Apex Devastator. Um, we are looking for our third land and a Dream Halls. Um, but that's all good. Our opponent is chatting with me. Uh, they just now realized who they're playing against, which is fun.
Neat. Uh, they just now realized who they're playing against, so maybe they'll say hi uh, when this is all live on YouTube or afterwards. So, Alvini, it's good to play with you, uh, but not if your thoughts easing me like this. I am... Hmm. I'm going to let this resolve. Brainstorm, if it's not taken, the show and tell might be the take here. Uh, or the brainstorm. And if brainstorm is taken, then that's fine. If show and tell is taken, then I can brainstorm into other cards. Uh, something that is nice about... Oh, they just took the force of will. Oh, okay. They're, they have plans. Plans for powerful effects here in a little bit. Finding land number three is great. Um, hmm... We're gonna have to see where things go. I'm I'm looking forward to crushing my opponent. I just hope that we can. This is another thoughtsies. Yeah, I'll brainstorm. That's fine. And we've seen wasteland, so I'll get the island. I don't I'm not open to wasteland yet. I still have like other basics to fetch, so that's all good. And then ponder as the pickup. So Mm hmm. I can make them take the ponder just by putting like beast show and tell. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, unless I want to, yeah, they're a reanimate deck. So yes, okay. Let's do that. They take the ponder, and then what I can do is um, fetch away the maelstrom wanderer because a seven five that doesn't trigger Cascade because I'm cheating it into play instead of casting it uh, is not what I want to show and tell. I don't know if that's the best use of my um, shuffle effect. Mm, we're going to have to just see. If I get discarded now, um, then so be it. I will definitely shuffle it away because I would need some cantrips to figure things out. Mm. Two mana. Him to Torok? Nope. Going back in. Wasteland. Okay. I've got a lot of basics. Dothy Voidwalker. Um, I don't know if they're struggling for land or anything like that. I'm not going to give that to them. Um, although this does answer the Uro, which was my additional plan, my, my plan B. So maybe if we get to a game three, I just swap out the Uros for the Endurances, which is a much more easily hard castable threat. Um, I'm not sure. Ooh, Veil of Summer is a fantastic pickup. I, I love that for us. Um, and we are not somebody that cares about Voidwalker having Veil of Summer in the toolbox because I'm not going to try to put Tendrils of Agony on the stack, much to my disappointment today. The mana base uh, doesn't, I mean, kind of. We have Lotus Petal to have the black for Atraxa uh, and the white for Atraxa, we need, we have two Lotus Petals, right? Um, we can technically cast some of them, but that would be a very long time out. Uh, I don't think that that's a particularly reasonable expectation. Mm, Ponder is good. They might have uh, their last card as a Bowmaster, but that's not a big deal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is everything that I want. I don't care about the redundant show and tell, but what I do like is the ability to show and tell in Dream Halls next turn and then cast a Maelstrom Wanderer with double Cascade. So let's keep all of this going and then I can protect everything with the... Um, Veil of Summer, I can play a land um, that turns on their wasteland. I just, 
I'm not going to do it. I don't know. Maybe maybe doing it is fine because that... Uh, I'll, I'll play out the drop. That's fine. I don't know if they were going to have something that is a larger payoff. Um, something like a Shieldred. So if they waste landed me at the end of turn, they wouldn't have four mana for the Shieldred. I don't know. Uh, they didn't end up wastelanding me at the end of the turn, but uh, ooh, what are we doing here? Are we pondering? We are pondering. Wow. Ponder is more important than three damage. Um, okay. Yeah. Triggers the DRC. Ponder triggering DRC. Classic effect in Legacy. Maybe not one that our opponent sees very often. I'm sure they're happy for it. Um... It fuels their stalker. Yeah, I mean, they can always, like... Um, hmm, I don't know. Maybe that's... Maybe that's true. I don't think I care about the stalker. They certainly turned on the stalker already. So if they wasteland me here, then the double descend does not result in double plus one plus one counters. Um, so now I want them to wasteland me now, uh, so that they don't have descend, uh, in the future. Black mana, reanimate the void walker. Uh, okay. Now what I'm going to do is probably just cycle this veil, um, is stalker probably better than Delver? Uh, I doubt it because having blue as a card, uh, as like colors, probably just better. Um, but maybe I know that people are playing Demir uh, Delver esque cards with Stalker instead. Um, okay. So now. I have the Wanderer and I'm drawing the, um, what am I drawing? It's a blue card, show and tell. Um, which is nice because I have a blue pitch that I can use here. Uh, and I don't need to cast a show and tell. I can just cast the Dream Halls um, directly. And I'm going to cast this and discard the show and tell. It goes into the void, so they could certainly do some fun things with that. But, oh, yes, cascading into an Atraxa right off of the bat is phenomenal. Okay, that was probably the best thing that could have possibly happened. This is going to refuel my hand. I get force of will. I get a turn timber symbiosis as a land. I get another Atraxa and uh, I don't know, Tropical Island, I guess. Okay, that was amazing. Um, and then I get another and I get a Veil of Summer. Sure, I'll cast it, I suppose. Um, now I get to cast a Turn Timber Symbiosis. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast the the Atraxa is the pitch for the Turn Timber Symbiosis, and this Atraxa now has haste and a plus three plus three and all this kind of extra stuff. Uh, and it's this one is the new one. They're both newly controlled, so it's gonna be this one I'm keeping. And then this one gets. Uh, wait, I thought that it got. How, what is the what is the read on turn timber? Oh, mana value three or less, it enters with counters. Okay, okay. Well, I should have just kept the one that had hex proof from blue and black, but I still have this force of will to work on. Um, that was a little bit of a mistake on my part. I thought that it got counters, and I thought that that was going to be more important. Although I guess it was lethal regardless. Um, Ooh, destroy all creatures that enter the battlefield this turn. What a 
wild card that is perfect for this deck. Um, however, I'm going to, uh, I guess I can cast by discarding. It's going to be exiled and I just don't care about the life loss. So I'm just going to not lose one life, I suppose, and it's all going to be fine. Uh, we are winning now. Um, here's an enchantment. Here's a an artifact and a sorcery and an instant and a creature and a land. Um, that's a lot of cards. Okay. How about I cast the Lotus Petal? I can brainstorm and fix things up, but this is lethal right away. I, I'm just attacking with all of my uh, creatures and dealing them 14, but I just, I can do all of this, so. Neat. That was pretty fun. Dream halls for the win. Uh, attacking with a hasty Atraxa uh, that drew me. How many cards was that? That was a ridiculous amount of cards. That was just five of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards. Okay. It was actually all. all okay. Yep. That was incredible. I love that. So lethal swing anyway, but just like having the additional ability to you know, do all this stuff it was fantastic. Okay, pretty swingy matchup so far. Death and Taxes, not a great matchup. Racto Scam, felt like a really good matchup. So let's see if we can find some other good matchups for the rest of this league. Let me tell you about Moxfield really quick. Another sponsor, you can actually check the video description for a link to this deck list and there's all other kinds of cool stuff that you can do with Moxfield. I'll be right back. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. And here we are again for a little bit of a twiddle. Oh, no, and here we go. Here is round number three against Dawson Creep. I've played them before. This looks like a pretty promising hand. Uh, hey, Vonseca, it's good to see you. Yeah, the double C's reanimate, that was pretty, that was pretty good, but um, luckily didn't have to worry about that. Uh, I like the list, Stalker looks great. Stalactite Stalker is, I think, the the coolest hot tech that's come out recently for like these tempo scam builds. Um, looks kind of fun. Maybe we're playing against it right now. They have descended. Nope, just thought sees. Okay. Um, we'll see how this goes, what they're going to pick. They, everything looks normal. And then what the hell is this? Dream Halls. Um, what can I say? I like to have a fun time. So here we go. This is a turn one Sylvan library, which is dazable. I don't know if that's going to be important. Um, also Fonseca, what is Im like impressive about the Rakdos list? I have played against it a few times. I haven't actually played with the Rakdos scam build. Uh, if we're gonna call it scam, I don't know what you wanna really call it. Um, hmm. I'm gonna just lead off on the basic island here. I also think that like getting the library is gonna be better in the long run. I get that like Bowmaster might be a problem. Totally understand that. Um, but we just we can just not activate Bowmaster. And right now I don't have a really good show and tell. Like I put the Dream Halls in and then want to cast an Uro. Um, so I think the Sylvan Library in today's I oh they didn't have days. Okay, cool. 
in today's, I understand I was doing that. I just needed to worry about that. Um, and nothing came of it. So we're all good. So in libraries in play and I can just F6. This might be bug. Um, this misty rainforest looks okay. This is bug. This is doomsday or beans. Uh, Orcish Bowmaster right off the bat. Okay, I am not going to be able to activate my Sylvan Library. This looks like uh, Sultai Beans. Uh, this Veil of Summer is nice. Okay. So, the thing that I can do is say, screw you Orcish Bowmasters, I'm gonna draw cards anyway because I don't care about a 4-4 four, four Orc army when I'm bashing in with a hasty, ooh, yummy. Um, bashing in with a hasty 10-10 Apex Devastator with a Maelstrom Wanderer and an Atraxa. So, I don't know. Um, that's just gonna be something that we figure out together. Force of Will on the, ooh, I'm getting a little bit of a rendering problem. Okay, there's the Thoughtsies. They got rid of the show and tell. Big surprise there. And uh, Takumu, uh, Takumi, is that what your name is? I'm sorry, this is not Turbo's V. This is, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that is the name that you know it by. Um, but this is a Dream Halls show and tell deck that plays Atraxa, Apex Devastator, and uh, Maelstrom Wanderer to just kind of do a bunch of really fun things with our, our Dream Halls, right? I like to cast Apex Devastators and then cast Atraxas and Maelstrom Wanderers off of it, or just cast a Maelstrom Wanderer and cascade into a brainstorm that sets me up to win awesome awesome games of magic. Um, so, uh, they did force, by the way, they force a willed my Veil of Summer on their Thoughtseize, they pitched a Lorien revealed, I get to Uro now. Um, they have two cards in hand. And drawing the land was great. Not drawing another land, that's fine. Uh, their Bowmaster draw grows. Um, Ponder is an okay pickup. I get that there's an army that's facing, that I'm facing down, but you can worry about that later. Um, Fonseca, I'm going to read your messages in just a second. Uh, I forgot that who was, who I was playing. I, I know that I've been talking to you in chat this whole time, like since I've been streaming. Uh, I just usually refer to you by your last uh, the, the second name in your username. I don't know if that's your last name, uh, instead of the Vinicius, but I, I didn't recognize you when I was playing against you. I'm sorry. Should, I feel like I should know that, but oh well. Apex Devastator. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I think that I'm going to have to use this ability... because I need to win right now. Dream Halls could do it. I Do I need to keep everything? Uh, this is terrifying and I need to keep everything. Damn, this is gonna hurt. Uh, so I need to uh, cast a Dream Halls. I'm going to five right now. I'm gonna go to three. Our opponent has two cards in hand. They certainly can daze my Dream Halls. Um, and then I can ponder into a green card so that I can cast Apex Devastator. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if this is... Oh, they just have a Force of Will. Okay. Oh, they had the Daze too. That's really rude. Um, interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, Fonseca, the, I think the definition of the list is basically it asks a specific question, lets the opponent... Uh, with little to no, leaves the opponent with little to no answers, double discard, and then something big on the field is left over. I have a few turns to answer what's on the field, and you're going to be putting more things in with Menace and things like that, but Demir Scam is better. 
I think that that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Joe, the green source away from the back half of Oro was nice. It just didn't end up panning out. They had the force days just like, uh, how rude can you be? Um, okay. So I want all of these cards. I do not want Sylvan Library. And I think that I actually just want to get rid of Ponders here. Um, I'm going to, I know that Joe, you and I are going to disagree with this, about this, but I'm going to get rid of Ponder and play around Bowmaster with Brainstorm rather than uh, kind of limit myself with a card that's not as good, but plays around or like is better versus Bowmaster. I would rather have the more powerful card that I can instant speed in response to a Bowmaster and just like play around it more appropriately. Endurance is another card that I could consider, consider their uh, Wither Bloom command deck. I don't care about Wasteland as much, so that's not as big of a deal. Um, but I also am a, um, I don't want to deal with the Murktide Regent, like if they stabilize and turn the corner really quickly. I think that Endurance is just going to stay in the sideboard though. So that's all good. Uh, Alan, it is dreaming time. We are living the dream and doing our best. Um, Joe, uh, Tomb, Honest Cast, Dream Halls, Pitch Pass Connor, Find Green Source, Pitch Cast Apex. <laughs> yeah, I really hope so, but it didn't end up happening. Uh, Humans of Magic, hello, by the way. Welcome to chat again. Uh, never a subscriber until now? Oh my gosh. Well, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're subscribed. That means a lot. Thank you. Um, my play points on the line. I do me. Uh, we can just uh, at length other times when my clock's not ticking. Yeah, that's totally fair. Um, but it was the sideboard clock, so it was not a big deal. This caves to wasteland, but brainstorm Uro eventually growing into a dream halls Atraxa is not the end of the world. I'm going to keep this. I recognize that like leaving myself open to wasteland is certain. Okay. Certain lists are moving away from the Pokemoki Bosch and roll builds that contained one spell pierce and one stifle moving to more stifles, more spell pierces at the, um, at the loss of dismembers and other pieces of interaction, which would be bad for me, uh, even if it's actually probably not the right choice for deck building as far as Sultai control goes. Um, Thoughtsies. I will brainstorm to protect this Dream Halls if they put an Uro immediately in the bin. I mean, they could daze me, I suppose. They're going to force me. Wow. Okay. I will take that. Um, I mean, like, if they take an Uro, then that's just a net win for me. If they take a Dream Halls, then I still have Uro pumping. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where things go. I don't know what they're going to pick. If it were me, it would be the Dream Halls. Yeah, okay. Like, the Uro is tempting. The Uro is really tempting. Like, just put it in there so that I don't get the front half benefits, and then just I'm not anywhere close to casting Dream Halls. Uh, wow. Okay. Veil of Summer, again, excellent pickup. They fought over Brainstorm. Maybe they're less likely to fight over Veil of Summer, but they've already thought seized me. I don't know how many thought seizes they're actually running. So... This Veil of Summer might just be protection for a show and tell in the future. Um, Ancient Tomb would be a really nice pickup. Orcish Bowmaster. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just draw a card right now. Am I going to draw a card right now? I'm just like Veil. Uh, let them target. Target Fizzles. Uh... They don't get an army, and I get to draw a card. Mm. They actually do get to get an army, actually, because the they get to ping themselves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Alex, I, I eventually got there. 
because I, I draw off the veil. Um, that's fine. Ooh, carpet is an excellent card here. I will, I'm going to play around days and, um, also potentially play this Uro this turn. Uh, I'll, I'll get my Uro dazed, that's all good. But like, this was super nutty. Um, that was a fantastic set of draws. Um, Carpet is going to break this game wide open, I think. So we're gonna use this and we're going to create green mana and blue and I'm under veil protection, so this can't get countered and I get to draw a card um, put in a land, this, this is just straight up winning. So they can target the orc army now if they know how this interaction works. Uh, yeah. Uh, so their orc army grows, that's fine. I drew a card, their orc army grew, I didn't get pinged, I'm fine with this. Um, so that's all good. Three cards and three live for two cards of yours. Yes, it was a very good trade for me, John. Um, Bug Beans is a way better matchup. Yeah, the lack of white cards, Leyline Binding specifically, is huge, yes. Uh, them being able to just Leyline Bind anything that I put in off of Show and Tell seems disgusting. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I am unable to do anything as far as hard casting cards go for now. Um, are they trying to surgical? Do they have surgical extraction? They might be surgicaling an Uro here. Um, yeah, look at that called shot. Um, and they're paying the iron price of one black mana. Uh, carpet is almost a one mana Gilded Lotus. It's, it's really good. I love me some Carpet of Flowers. Um, okay. No to the Carpet because I'm not gonna be able to do anything. They have all of my Uros now, so that plan B is off. But if I draw lands or if they play more islands, I can start hard casting things. Uh, I can't hard cast the Atraxa because there are two off color targets, like the white and the black, that I can't do without a lotus petal involved or another carpet. Um, but I can potentially cast this Maelstrom Wanderer. It's eight mana and I currently have six, but if they play another island and I draw another land, then I can start casting Maelstrom Wanderers, just make Carpet of Flowers create red mana and then go to Pound Town on my opponent, which is a phrase that I realized I probably shouldn't have said out loud. But here we are, everybody. <laughs> okay, <laughs> our opponent is pondering. They are pondering a lot about their card. Um, hmm. And they chose to shuffle. Okay, uh, well, okay. They have a non-island in play now. It was a little unfortunate. Uh, ooh, that will also be pretty fun. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I need still, oh yeah, this is the same mana cost. Okay, so still, I can, I can do things with these if our opponent gives us another island, if I draw another land. Um, one with the multiverse would allow me to cast Atraxa, which I think might be better than the Maelstrom Wanderer. Um, actually, no, probably the Maelstrom Wanderer is better at first uh, because the double cascade just like absolutely gives me the card advantage that I need, uh, regardless of if it resolves or not. <clears throat> I don't know, Murktide Regent, that's gonna be a problem. So that's 10 uh, carpet of flowers, wow. No, 
and then carpet of flowers. If this resolves, I can put a maelstrom wanderer on the stack. Something tells me it's not going to resolve. Um, hmm. So they, yeah, okay. Did not resolve. That is unfortunate, and un I just got to... Okay, I, I gave them a question. I asked a lot of them and they had it, uh, which makes sense, right? They've just been holding on to interaction for a little bit. Uh, as long as they don't have another Bowmaster, then I survive another turn. Leovold? Oh. That's a tough one. This is too. Um, well, they're going to draw a card. They have two cards in hand now. I am going to y y say yes to this. I'm going to uh, show and tell in a one with the multiverse and then uh, I got to figure out what I'm going to cast. Is it going to be the Maelstrom Wanderer? Okay. My library does not have, uh, well, okay. Am I gonna cast a Maelstrom Wanderer and cast a Show and Tell and get an Atraxa? That's probably what it's gonna be, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna cast this. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna hit a Show and Tell off of the first Cascade, fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna cast it and then it's gonna give me an Atraxa. Ooh, this might actually work out for me. Um, Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I need to make sure that I can show and tell in the Dream Halls and the Apex Devastator. I've got the Lotus Petal and the Mist. I mean, it doesn't matter what the land is. I'm not going to be able to use it. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's fine. And I get another. Oh my gosh, I get a Turn Timber Symbiosis. Uh, that just doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, that wasn't super amazing. Uh, hasty, hasty, hasty. And then I can, our opponent has zero cards in hand. I'm going to uh, show and tell in a dream halls and then cast a Lotus Petal and then cast an Apex Devastator by exiling the Maelstrom Wanderer or discarding the Maelstrom Wanderer, excuse me. Four Cascades, I hit a one with the Multiverse, another one, so I get an, okay, that's great. I can cast something else, Lotus Petal. That's not the most amazing thing in the world, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not gonna cast the Force of Will. That's not something that I want. And then the other one is another Atraxa, which I have another one with the multiverse. So we're gonna do that. It doesn't matter which one I keep, they both have haste. And then I can grab a carpet as, I don't need another dream halls, a brainstorm, which is not gonna do anything. The Caracas will allow me to brainstorm actually. Wow, wow, wow. This is fantastic. And then another show and tell so that I can do a bunch of cool things. Play the Caracas, bounce the Leovold. They get to draw a card, fine, I don't care. Um, and then I can attack, but it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. That was incredible. Uh, eat Dirt Leovold. Uh, wow, what a fun game too. That was incredible. Okay, now I was going to eventually be able to like brainstorm pitching the, or brainstorm off of a Lotus Petal, see if I was gonna get anything else, uh, like I have two additional cards. Wow, that was, that was super fun. Um, okay, they have Surgical, which is gonna be paired with their Thought Seizes for my show and tells, or Dream Halls, and the Uros. Uh, is that enough of a reason to swap to Endurance? I think, kinda, maybe. 
Okay, that swapped things around so, so well. Um, also, um, is it Takumi, by the way? Thanks for the, the comment on the insane moves. Is your last name Takumi? I don't know. Uh, I'm using Google Translate to figure it out so that I make sure that I call you by your name. Or your username, at least. I don't know. Um, all right. Let's see if we can recreate the awesomeness that was the last game and clutch out a victory uh, against Dawson Creep, which is a f another fun username, actually. Hmm. This is not going to do it. Veil of Summer is a lovely card, but I can't keep it. This, I think this is going to do it. Um, I'm going to keep, I'm like, Carpet of Flowers is insane. We know that they have a Leofold. I get that. It's probably a one of. Fingers crossed that it's a one of. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Is this actually a keep? I think so. I have time against my opponent. And Carpet of Flowers either restricts their mana because they're not going to be playing Islands or absolutely gets me to a point where I can start hard casting Turn Timber, Symbiosis, or Maelstrom Wanderers. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to bottom the Force of Will, and we're going to call it a game. Let's go, 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 go. And they didn't thought seize me, strip a carpet of flowers, and then surgical extraction my carpet of flowers. So I think that's a win. And we can play around wasteland since we drew the basic island. I can get the basic forest and then play this carpet of flowers into days. I understand. But I think that it's worth it. They have a force of will. They're willing to force here. Am I willing to force here? No, I've got another one. It's all good. I might fight over the second one. I might not. I don't know. But they don't have a daze, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> okay. Just a couple of lands. <laughs> oh, okay. They're doing something in the second main. I sometimes do that because I forget that I'm talking and probably should have done something, accidentally clicked, and then moving forward... Uh, I have to act before I don't do anything else. That's an island for my carpet of flowers. You love to see that? That's another island for my carpet of flowers. Is this a bean? Is this a bean stock? Is it a bowmaster? Okay, sure. That's fine. Main phase bowmaster is an underrated move in Legacy. Uh, Joe, our opponent is playing around the fact that I have Brainstorm in my deck and can play around <laughs> an instant speed bowmaster. Uh, show and tell is interesting. Let's start off with a carpet of flowers. Okay. This is going to be an always yield, and it's going to be a no right now. Three mana to show and tell in a Maelstrom Wanderer is not the plan. Maelstrom Wanderer is potentially my pitch card now. Um, if I find something better to show and tell in, um, there's a lot of options here. But I am liking my position. Our opponent has four cards in hand and they might play a land out here. They might not, I don't know. The world is their oyster. Um, also, Joe, I, I saw uh, no white mana means no Lavinia, which is also Fantastic. I uh, dislike playing against Lavinia almost as much as I dislike playing against Gaddock Teague. Turns out the white hair be hate bear splashing another color just kind of ruins the fun that I want to be having in Legacy. Uh, which, I mean, admittedly means that it's a good hate bear. Uh, Gaddock Teague or Lavinia or Collector Oof, which is not white. I get it. But um, come on. Let's have some fun here. Oh, well. Uh, um, our opponent is making some decisions here. Making a wasteland-shaped decision and a beans off of that. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, they're not holding up a uh, 
what's the delve? Um, it's not cut down. That's a two mana uh, removal spell. It's um, what's the delve black removal spell? I don't know. Uh, murderous cut. Yeah. Okay. Not cut down. Murderous cut. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to pass the turn. I'm not going to play out my land into their wasteland. And uh, if I find something like a Dream Halls, then the Turn Timber Symbiosis or the Maelstrom Wanderer will cast the other. Uh, nice little symmetry there. Um, and then the Show and Tell is a fantastic pitch to Force of Will. So I'm just like a Dream Halls or an Atraxa or, I mean, I'll even cantrip into something um, away from doing something really, really great. Um, so we'll see. If they brainstorm, they can play a fetch land that doesn't play into the Carpet of Flowers this turn. Um, what I'm really worried about right now is something like a, uh, um, uh, what's the, what's the, uh, card, uh, Witherbloom Command. There we go. Finally got there. And then Joe, you make a good point. A uh, seven, five critter does just beat what they have. A seven, five hasty boy. That might just be good enough. Um, they can show and tell in a Leovold, which is not something that they've had the mana to do yet. Um, but it might just be fine. Force of Vigor, exiling and up the beanstalk. Okay, you know what? If I'm going to show and tell, I'm going to do it right now. I get that I can bolt this in, uh, but I'm going to just interact here and if they have interaction then um they're more incentivized to protect what they're doing right now they have two cards in hand um i kind of like forcing the action here as opposed to trying to protect my show and tell um yes Okay, Lorian revealed. Okay, so they have one card in hand that they drew from the beans. And then I'm going to allow Carpet of Flowers to, I mean, not that I can do anything, but um, we get to draw a card. Oh, are they surgicaling? Oh, Orcish Bowmaster. Okay. Hmm, that was a pretty good card. That was a castable card to draw. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, opponent. Nice force of vigor. Now I get that I am not taking advantage of a hasty 7-5 creature. However, um, I think that the life is more important right now than trying to get in for damage, right? Like taking three damage putting me down to nine, not the most amazing. And right now they just have no attacks and then they can't actually do anything to, like they can chump block this, uh, oh, of course, right after I make that decision. Um, okay, but that's all right. We're one mana away from casting this dream halls with the carpet of flowers. Um, all right, maybe I should have just like show and told Maelstrom Wanderer in earlier. Could be something that was important. I think that I was getting kind of caught on the idea of doing something a little bit more busted and just a seven five beat stick is good enough. Um, I don't know, our opponent has no cards in hand. Uh, they drew that polluted Delta that they played. Uh, that they're not incentivized to uh, use for mana right now. Okay, they are not winning this race as it stands. Endurance, wow. Okay, uh, yes, please. Let's just do this right now. Uh, endurance is a great find. 
I can endurance away their graveyard so that they can't cast a Murktide Regent or a Murderous Cut if they draw it later. If it's, okay, awesome. That was, that was really good. Joe, uh, turns out you're better at casting show and tell than I am and just putting in a seven five instead of waiting for the perfects is the way to go. Who'd have thought? Um, yeah, that was, that was excellent. That was a nice tasty victory. And coming off of the back of winning in the face of Leovold, uh, as brutally as we did winning at one life, um, just this deck is a lot of fun. Okay. I get the, I get the omniscience plan. I get the show and tell plan, Joe. This just makes my, my heart happy. Okay. Let's play and let's talk a little bit uh, about some tokens. You know, we have some tokens. We have awesome token, uh, packs. If you, well, oh, never mind. We're having really fast pairings. So we're in our fourth round against Moffa's Van Gogh, which is our, uh, resident blue dredge player. Uh, they're, they're likely playing force of will J dredge. And we are messaging back and forth. So give me a second. Okay. Uh, this is going to be fun. And while we don't have... Uh, oh, I thought I hit that. Okay, I didn't hit it. Uh, that's unfortunate. There we go. It is updated. Thank you for that, Alex. Um, so... Mm. We are we are likely playing against Dredge, and the Uros are only good to get rid of the um, bridge from below, but they're not bad at it. Um, having the show and tell is fine. Having the Veil of Summer is fine if they don't have discard on turn one. We're gonna keep this. Any of our beaters are going to be good. Um, Maelstrom Wanderer, not the best. And let's hope they just don't have a grief to start off things. Um, okay, they have two dredgers. Powerful start. Let's uh, open up on a misty rainforest. Hold open the Veil of Summer if necessary. Um, rude, how's it going? We are, uh, we're living the dream. And I realized that that phrase probably would have been an excellent hook for the title, just living the dream. I probably should have used that, but here we are, uh, not paying for spells. Ooh, Cephalid Coliseum, just ripping, just ripping through the deck. Uh, wow, okay. They don't, they didn't hit another Narc Amoeba. Wow. Uh, they just have one bridge from below. They did hit Cabalth. Oh, never mind. They had a bridge from below in hand. This is Moffa's uh, Rude. And they are, um, you know, I can, I can yield to the bridge from below trigger. That's not going to matter. But I am going to veil this. Um, I'm not going to get the chance to do anything else. Uh, and I can get the Tropical Island because they don't run Wasteland. <clears throat> okay, Veil of Summer, protect my Cabal Therapy, or my hand from Cabal Therapy, and what I need to do is get rid of these bridges as quickly as possible. It's not going to happen super quickly, but maybe an Ancient Tomb, Dream Halls, maybe eventually will work out nicely. Um, I'm going to play a Prismatic Vista and just pass. Um... Brainstorm can come in clutch in a little bit uh, if I need to find some interaction. I don't think they had another... Oh, there's a Cabal Therapy. They dredged over another Cabal Therapy, um, and they had a self Cephalid Coliseum. They are throwing their deck into their graveyard as fast as uh, magically possible. And there's the Narc Amoeba. They have plenty of Bridge From Below's now, plenty of Cabal Therapies while wow, they hit all of their Cabal Therapies. There's the Hogak. Uh, gross. 
uh, Cephalid Coliseum is like a better one-off ba uh, bazaar, yes. Um, <clears throat> okay. This is, we're going to say going poorly. I don't think that we're going to get game one, which is kind of in typical dredge fashion, right? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to brainstorm. Uh, I don't think that they're going to name show and tell, but they could. I don't know. They're certainly not going to name dream halls. So we're actually, but, oh, they have the cabal therapy. Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, w there's only the one veil, unfortunately, in the main deck. We have more veils in the sideboard, uh, so we can't do that. I was hoping for missing on the Cabal Therapy at the front end and then forcing another one. Uh, I don't know. But as it stands, I'm going to put back Beseju and Dream Halls. Um, Actually, should it be the show and tell? It might be the show and tell. Yeah. Okay. So show and tell here because they can name, they're going to more likely name the show and tell. That's, that's a better choice. Yes. Uh, Rude, you are correct. Um, so they're going to likely miss here. Um, and then, yeah, brainstorm. Okay. Not going to hit. Uh, and they're like, what the hell is going on, my dude? <laughs> yeah, they said what? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, who would have expected? Um, not our opponent, not Moffa's, that's for sure. So they are casting their Hogak, and they can just use the Hogak to... Um, cast another cabal they have two more cabal therapies so they're going to strip likely uh show and tell an uro which means that we can apex devastator i don't know i don't know i don't know we're gonna have to see uh i don't even know if hasty uh atraxa is gonna be good enough because we're gonna have a 14 point swing but look at the battlefield they've got okay they name show and tell reasonable take and then they have uh hogak to recast um uh, i think that they would put hogak in the yard because they don't want me casting uh they, they don't want me to cast uro excuse me uh to get rid of their bridges i think that that's the key they don't care about uro in the yard uh because that's not going to have a death trigger associated with it being cast so I think that Uro is going to be the name here. Um, but I don't know. Could be could be something different. Could be something very different. Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath. Okay, they want their bridges, essentially, is the, the name of the game here. Um, and then they get to cast the Hogak again. And I mean, they have... This Apex Devastator needs to be particularly juicy. Uh, let's put it that way. We need a lot to go right, but we did have a lot go right uh, in our previous match. You know, winning at one life against a Leovold. So I don't know why he would care about Uro either, but you know, they're making decisions. They're, make, they're sticking to their guns, so we got it. Um, yeah, I I love blue dredge. Moffa's is uh, Moffa's Van Gogh's like deck is just super super fun. Um, love it to pieces. I do miss breakthrough, but it's good enough. Let's put it that way. Okay, and this is gonna be a Golgari Grave Troll. It's a nine nine, uh, terrifying. We have four Cascades to do something, and we can only attack with... Okay, there's a Maelstrom Wanderer. That was... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We could do something here. Uh, Force of Will. No, I'm not going to cast the Force of Will. Um, we don't win now. We, we don't necessarily win, because turns out this doesn't have Trample. Um... Ponder. I will cast the Ponder. 
Uh, one with the multiverse. I would like to cascade into one with the multiverse. Yes, please. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I stacked it wrong. Okay, that's fine. I can... <sighs> That was unfortunate. Okay, so let me put back Brainstorm and one with the multiverse, and then I can cast the one with the multi- That was, that was unfortunate. Um, okay. And then Apex Devastator resolves, and then I get to cast Atraxa with the one with the multiverse so that I get other cards like a, let's see, a Creature, do I want the Atraxa here? Do I want the Maelstrom Wanderer? I probably want the Atraxa. Um, okay, Atraxa, Dream Halls, Lotus Petal, Tropical Island, uh, Brainstorm. Actually, no, let's not do the Brainstorm. Let's do the Force of Will because the Force of Will is a better pitch card to the Dream Halls than anything else. And I want the Brainstorm in my deck if I, I don't know. Um, so let's ca cast this, get rid of the dream halls. Uh, let's keep, it doesn't matter. One of them, uh, get rid of all of the bridges that they worked so hard to keep. Uh, I don't think that this is actually going to, I, yeah, our opponent says this is awesome. I don't think it matters though. Okay, uh, we can auto yield to those. We're never gonna see those triggers again. And we have Atraxa and we have Caracas as a land. Uh, Turn Timber Symbiosis as a sorcery. Uh, Atraxa and one with the multiverse. And we're done. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we can cast a one with the multiverse, pitching the force of will. Uh, I can cast a turn timber symbiosis with the one with the multiverse and get an Uro, which is gonna gain me some life, which is not nothing, I suppose. Um, and then I can put in Caracas and I can bounce the Uro to my hand to gain an, an additional uh, life point, or I can bounce the Hogak. Um, hmm. Probably bounce the Uro so that I can cast it again. And then I can cast Atraxa, getting rid of the Sylvan Library, uh, I can keep one of them. I don't know if this matters at all, um, but I have a Lotus Petal and I can get an Apex Devastator, a Carpet of Flowers, a Force of Will, and uh, an Island, I guess. Um, okay. How about an Apex Devastator discarding a Carpet of Flowers, I get a bunch of creatures, uh, or a bunch of triggers. Okay, Maelstrom Wanderer, which is gonna be another legendary creature. Uh, okay, Dream Halls, might as well cast it. Um, Brainstorm, sure. Do I want to Cascade into an Uro again, uh, or an Atraxa? I'll probably want to Cascade into uh, Uro. Yeah. So nothing else is vigilant other than Atraxa. So my, my goal here is, um, oh, I'll keep that Maelstrom Wanderer. Uh, my goal is to get like an Uro into the battlefield. Um, and I have another Lotus Petal. And then if I hit another Uro, I can get a, additional land drop and hopefully gain enough life to survive. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, but we can see about that. 
I'm going to shuffle this up. We don't need that. Um, an untapped blocker for the crackback. Yeah, that might be worth it. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Like the only thing that's a life linking uh, creature is a Traxa. And since it is vigilant anyway, um, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's turn timber. We can cast for uh, dream halls, which is awesome. And discard this Atraxa that I don't care about. Uh, that misses. Oh, I wanted an Uro. Are all of our Uros in the graveyard? They are. Okay. That's why. Uh, can I? I cannot. Okay. Um, I don't think that I'm going to be able to do this. I only have the Lotus Petals here. Oh, I could. Uh, do I have the carpet in the graveyard? I have the carpet in the graveyard. That's too bad. Um because I could have gone to my second main phase and cast the Uro. Um, okay, we're gonna attack with everything. This is a super lethal attack for what it's worth, but they can just chump with a couple of Narc Amoebas and then um, we're doing, meh. we're not doing super great. Uh, yeah, um, the Grave Troll is just huge, and then, like, uh, um, yeah, maybe attract, uh, t attacking with the Maelstrom Wanderer was not great. I forgot that the Hogak and the Golgari Grave Troll were already big enough to just eat it in combat without having to do anything about it. Um, Okay, um, this was really cool. We like churned through our entire deck. It just, I don't think it was gonna be good enough against this absolute menace of a uh, zombie army. So this is 20, uh, okay, let's, let's just uh, cast this ponder. I'll shuffle any order. And then we have two looks at something. We don't find it. Okay. Uh, I will conceive this. That's unfortunate. All right. Um, we could have found, uh, you know, another, another Maelstrom Wanderer or something like that. Um, there's one left in the deck. Okay. Okay. Dredge. Um, I mean, we, for for a deck that necessarily has to win game one, we made that a lot closer than I would have expected. So that's that's all good by me. Uh, Veil of Summer on the play seems okay. Carpet of Flowers is fun because they actually do play islands, but I don't think that it's necessary. Uh, Sylvan Library is way too slow. Uros are interesting because they kill off bridge from belows, but we have the endurance swap instead. Uh, so I think that that's all we care about. Caracas for their um, Hogak is interesting. I don't know, maybe it'll come up. I don't think that we need Beseju. Maybe I keep in like one Uro. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that's fine. Like if we get to a point where we were last game when we just like gain a bunch of life with the Uro, could make or break the game depending on how many zombies they have on the battlefield at the time. So um, let's keep in one Uro and, and leave it at that. I don't think we need anything else. Just men were dressed down, none of that matters. We just care about endurance and then Veil of Summer is a nice little perk, um, which we really only care about in our first couple of turns. Um, I would like to play first, yes please. Okay, Veil of Summer in and Endurance in and a Ponder to find our second land drop. I think that I have to keep this. Um, the question now is holding up Veil of Summer or holding up the Ponder. 
I'm gonna hold up the Veil of, or Pondering, but I'm gonna hold up the Veil of Summer. Um, if we fetch to find our second land, we're not doing anything um, right off the bat. Uh, hits their tech land. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's important. Cephalid Colosseum hate is kind of a big deal. So let's think about that for game three because we're definitely going to win this one. Uh, land number two, land number two. And it's a Veil of Summer enabler. So let's ponder right away. Show and tell is not bad. And an additional mana source for that is great. Uh, we're going to just hide that on top and no shuffle. And here we go. They actually do end up playing days, which is not something that I uh, had mentioned before, but they are a force of will days deck. So the Lotus Petal was almost the perfect pickup. Um, I hope that we don't have to daze. Oh, uh, let's see. Mind break trap. Okay, that's fine. Um, Cephalid Colosseum, there we go. There's their super big enabler and... Uh, let's see what happens. The one with the multiverse is a perfect show and tell target because I can show and tell the one with the multiverse and then cast the Maelstrom Wanderer and the other Maelstrom Wanderer is my endurance pitch. Uh, big fan of that. So, away we go. Show and tell. They certainly can have force of will. They have mind break trap, which is wild. Um, I guess they need to. Uh, hmm. So the th here's here's the thing. Like I could have endurance before then and they could just like have forced the Cephalid Coliseum. I think I'm going to Endurance now. They're looking for forces. I don't think that they're going to dredge, uh, which kind of makes me wonder if I want to just allow this. I think that they're going to take natural draws to look for force of will. Um, so this Endurance is actually not going to interact with them like I hope that it will. Um, yeah. Okay. Show and tell. So they didn't dredge at all for what it's worth. And then they have the force. They pitched an otherworldly gaze. I didn't have another land for this veil of summer. I am now in the dirt. Um, there's a lot of things that need to go right for me. And currently, uh, none of it is. Unfortunately, I can't stack this the way that I want it to be stacked. Um, to get rid of bridge from belows by stacking the triggers opposite how they normally do. Um, to have a death trigger before I put the bridge from belows back in the deck. I would rather have gotten rid of them completely Unfortunately, it's just not going to work out that way. So they need a careful study or an otherworldly gaze. Okay. Otherworldly gaze allows them to put a dredger in before their draw step like nothing happened. It's at least just a thug, but they also they also hit a bridge and a cabal therapy and an arc amoeba. So everything's fine. Uh, this is tough. I will say blue dredge is typically pretty good against the combo matches. Um, so, uh, Bryant, what did I do? Uh, why couldn't I? I could, I just didn't need to because there were no bridges in the graveyard at the time. So it didn't matter. Um, so that's, that's all we got going on. I could stack it the other way, uh, 
just hoping that I could get something going if they have the bridges. But since they didn't have the bridges, then it didn't matter. And now they have the bridges, so uh, they recovered well after a single point of graveyard interaction. So, I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, Dredge does that quite well. And they're stripping everything. Uh, they hit the Veil of Summer, probably. They might take the Wanderer, I don't know. And just never cast another black spell. <clears throat> yeah, they hit the Veil. Okay, that makes sense. They know about the Wanderer. Uh, show and tell. Okay, well, there's a chance that this works out well for us. Um, I just need another land and we can see what happens. Uh, their worldly gaze. Excellent. Good for you. And they get to surveil three. Do they hit another dredger? They've got a thug. Yep, okay. Not the best dredger of all time, but good enough to get the ball rolling. And, oh, they didn't actually oh wait they had to make make the uh the land drop to do that okay seven five might not beat them but this endurance is not bad um i really wish i had a land so that i could hard cast to the endurance but okay so now i can actually appropriately Oh, and they have an otherworldly gaze. I actually should do this now so that they don't get to flash back the otherworldly gaze. I almost missed that. So now I get to stack this appropriately where the death trigger goes on the stack first, which exiles the bridge from below that's in their graveyard now, and then the endurance shuffles everything away. So the bridge from below that we just got rid of is gone permanently rather than just shuffled back so they could use it later. And they have a careful study to fill their uh, graveyard with Golgari Grave Trolls. So, oh, and a Brainstorm. Fantastic. Oh, what a rebuild. How fun. Okay. Um, they hit a single Narc Amoeba and a Cabal Therapy. Um, so no bridge from Belows, which is good. So they're not going to flash back the Cabal Therapy yet. Uh... Well, <clears throat> we gotta we gotta see what we can do. I would love to draw an Atraxa right now. That's all I want to do. Um, I, I I did put it on. I thought I shuffled since then, but maybe I I just forgot about that, John. You know that's true. I did put it on top. Everything, there are so many things that had happened since that decision point and the rest of the game. So I just was uh, a little bit out of it, I suppose. Cabal therapy, me, okay, fine. What are you going to name? Show and tell, disgusting. Uh, yep. And there's the thug, okay. Um, that's just a blocker. So I'm going to hope to draw an Endurance. Uro is pretty okay. Uh, there's no uh, bridges, but I mean, Uro is gonna Uro. And there's the land, so fantastic. We can start Uro things. That one of Uro is potentially coming in absolute clutch. Um, I don't know if it's going to be too late because they just are dredging again and they hit a bridge from below and two Narc Amoebas and a dread return for the Ashen Rider that they hit. I think the game is over, folks. That's what I'm saying. The game is over. Uh, we had a fun time. Everybody had a lovely time, but uh, the last card that they hit was a dread return. Okay, cool. 
not the most amazing. And what they get to do is sack the Golgari thug to the Dread Return, put a Narc Amoeba on top of their library that they can then put back into play. Um, yikes. Yeah, Joe, uh, we could have held the land. Um, I don't know if it would have been worth it, but I mean, they're gonna Cabal Therapy anyway, uh, I feel like. Okay. Now, I'm glad that I didn't uh, hold the land because like this Ashen Rider is gonna hit it and if I have a land drop to draw, then I can still Uro. Might not matter, but uh, I am glad that the land is in play. Okay, this Ashen Rider. Oof. Okay, um, and they did put Narc Amoeba on top of their library with the Thug's ability. So when they dredge again, they're gonna have a Narc Amoeba on top, just ready to go. Um, oh, that's right. They have another Cabal Therapy, and they get to put some Golgari Grave Trolls in their library or in their graveyard now. Hmm. Uh, I missed the additional Cabal Therapy so that they could... Yeah, they have Force of Will, Stinkweed Imp in hand now. Um, I don't think this is going to go well, folks. An island. Okay. I mean, the basic uh, forest is gone, so... I know that we can concede, but for uh, for the sake of my opponent, who is a you know digital friend, I will let them kind of do their thing. But we are deceased. Um, this was a paddling <laughs> uh, mono or force of will dredge is is really a fun deck and it kind of hoses the fair blue decks and uh, okay so i am getting punished i am getting punished by not having another basic forest in the deck to find with this vista so that i can cast an uro that specifically right now is coming back to bite me I don't think that we want that, but it is interesting that that's a problem right now. So we are deceased now with the Icarid and they can just attack for lethal. So we are two and two heading into the final round and we are looking to kind of clutch out a positive record, um, which is about kind of what I expected for this deck. I was hoping for more and uh, despite couple of endurances from our side of things our opponent was able to rebuild ridiculously fast which speaks worlds to mono blue or mono blue. i keep want to say mono blue dredge it's not mono blue dredge it's just blue dredge it's actually mostly a demir deck um but yeah uh blue dredge with force of will and d's so Let's play this. Let me tell you about our token pack really quick before our fifth and final round of the evening. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. All right. So here we go. We are still waiting. We're still waiting around for our last opponent. They don't want to find out what dreams are made of. Uh, uh, John, paddling the school canoe, you better believe that's a paddling. Yeah, absolutely. We are we are working on uh, flipping that around. For our fifth and final round, we're up against Andrea 
Rata. Okay, we won the die roll, which is a lot better than other times. Okay, show and tell attract. So we've got the lands, we've got the brainstorm to find out some interaction if we need it. Uh, we're gonna keep this one and do our best. All that can be done is our best. We have basics uh, until we show and tell, which is pretty nice. So, you know, we can Caracas, put that in, and then immediately cast a show and tell if we need to. Um, so we're not worried about Wasteland right now, which is just kind of a nice feeling um, for a deck that just plays a bunch of lands. Basic Forest Hex Drinker off of a Verdant Catacombs. Are we playing up against like Obzon Maverick or Depths? Nah, eh, Depths is probably not a Hex Drinker deck, so it's probably Maverick. Um, okay. Really happy about these basics. Caracas, maybe if it's the Depths side of things. Um, and then Besaju could be interesting. If they have Caracas, besaging a Caracas is interesting. Um, we'll see. Maybe they just put a bunch of mana into this Hex Drinker and leave it at that. Okay, Noble Hierarch. They're attacking for three. I don't know if they want to pump something up or not. Um, they can level up after combat. After... Um, they guarantee that I'm not going to Bowmaster them or something like that. Okay. A Swamp. I think this is an end of turn brainstorm. If I find a Dream Halls, then I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah. And we'll get the Island. We'll just end of turn brainstorm, which is a little unconventional. But for a combo deck, pretty okay. Uh, didn't find it, but mm, we can put back probably the Beseju, and then we can draw the Sylvan Library. Um, or we can guarantee that there's... No, uh, I want Dream Halls as my enchantment, so let's put the Sylvan Library in hand. Uh, this might just be green-black. Yeah, this might be straight up uh, Golgari. But this is a little interesting. If they were Golgari, I would have expected this to be the Jund Hierarch, the Noble there. Uh, so uh, maybe not. Maybe not just Golgari. So I'm guessing that there's white involved, or I doubt that this is bug, but it could be. I don't know. We're gonna find out if they have something to deal with the show and tell Atraxa. Mm. <laughs> um, they're thinking. They're pondering, well, they're not pondering, but they're they're considering. Uh, it's not even a thing either. Consider is a card. Um, okay, so Savannah could path the Atraxa. Uh, they, or not path. I mean, they could path in the main deck. I doubt it, but Swords the Atraxa. This isn't modern, folks. This is Legacy. Um, okay, so as far as creatures go, I want the Arrow over the Atraxa. Uh, and then, okay, let's go. Hmm. Island, sorcery, creature, artifact, enchantment. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I can play out the Lotus Petal. Uh, oh, I did want a Shuffle Effect, didn't I? Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I wanted the, I wanted the Misty Rainforest. Um, okay. And then I can just put Uro straight into the bin. Uh, unless I want to cast the Uro and ramp a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, I can discard the carpet um, because I actually do want to cast the Uro and get my mana under me. And I don't care about Carpet of Flowers against the Obzon deck. So that's going to be Uro fodder eventually um, without having to worry about my Uro being endurance before I can actually get any value out of it. Prismatic ending. Okay, well, let's just... Um, Sack that, more Uro fodder for escape. And I could cast this brainstorm, I'm not going to. Let's just leave it at that. <clears throat> Let's get full value out of this brainstorm. I'm not gonna, you know, think I should have cast brainstorm at a different time and, and double down on a bad decision. So, <clears throat> turns out I get to Uro here. Um, and I also could Caracas here, um, and just like rebuy the Uro. Uh, is that a better use of my mana than Sylvan Library? Certainly not. So let's do that. And we found another Uro, which is nice. Um, doubling down on bad decisions is my specialty. Well, I learned from the best, Bryant. That's just, uh, that's just branding, I suppose. Okay, Sylvan Library, they're doing something. They're endurancing. Okay, well, I have another Uro eventually. Uh, we can play a little bit of the fair game. They hard cast this endurance, so, you know, their clock is kind of okay. They're attacking for you know, five a turn at the moment. Um, I have another Uro running. This Veil of Summer could work if they have a Bowmaster some, at some point in the future, right? I can like brainstorm uh, Bowmaster thing, things with this Veil of Summer. Um, <clears throat> Green Sun Zenith potentially is this could be a Green Sun Zenith for oh for one okay I was thinking it was gonna be Outland Liberator to get rid of my Sylvan Library but they just got the Jund Noble uh, Ig Noble Hierarch so they're just pumping up their snake uh, snaky snake so they're attacking for seven uh, things are working for my opponent better than they are for me. Let's see what this Sylvan Library has to say. I would love to see a Dream Halls, uh, one with the multiverse. Not quite, but um, there's a Dream Halls. Okay, so let's actually, uh, let's pay to keep the one with the multiverse in hand because uh, There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, we're sponsored by KMC, which is not something that I forgot to say at all. I totally, I totally had that on lock. Um, oops. But yeah, we're sponsored by KMC now, guys. We've got some awesome, awesome... Uh, I've been using, like, the the dragon shield uh, dual mats, uh, but the corners and the edges have been like ripping or splitting a lot more easily. I'm super excited to, to, co to go back to KMC. So that's kind of a fun one. Uh, let's see, do I get rid of the Uro? Probably get rid of the Uro over the brainstorm. That just sees more cards. And then one with the multiverse, I can cast this. Apex Devastator, uh, which is gonna be disgusting. Hmm, I don't think I want to do that, but I can do this without paying its mana cost. Uh, yep. And then I could cast this Brainstorm to get better Cascades uh, instead. Let's actually do that. Let's cast this Brainstorm now Get ridding, getting rid of that brainstorm, and then I can cascade into a turn timber symbiosis uh, guaranteed. So there we go. 
And then the turn timber is gonna hit, let's hope something really fun, another Apex Devastator. Okay, well, it just goes into play. Uh, ooh, maybe I say no to that? No, that's fine. Okay, now I just have hasty, hasty Apex Devastators. Mm-hmm. Okay. Four more Cascades to go. I will hit the Dream Halls. Um, I don't care about the Force of Will. I'm just going to say no to that. Oh, I, I have to say no in a different window than I'm used to. And then we get an Atraxa, and things are looking good. I would say that things are looking very good. We are doing the thing, and the thing is lovely to behold. We're living the dream. We are living the dream. Uh, okay, so here's our creature. Here's our enchantment and a sorcery and an instant and a land. Yeah, let's just get the island. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then we don't know what we're going to hit off of this cascade. We're revealing an island. Oh, another turn timber symbiosis. Okay. Uh, do we hit an Uro? That would be kind of nice. Oh, another Apex Devastator. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, fantastic. How about 30, 44 damage? How about 44 damage, opponent? Disgusting. I love this so much. <laughs> it's making my heart happy. Uh, that was super great. Okay. Uh, against our opponent, I want some dismembers and dress downs, I think. Uh, I don't care about Carpet of Flowers. I don't care. They're going to have Bowmasters. That's why they're playing black. I'm not going to be playing the Sylvan Library, even though it did technically do some really good work last game. Um... And then they probably have Caracas, uh, so I'm going to keep in one Besaju. I'm not going to do both. I think that that's not going to be necessary, and then I can get rid of this Veil of Summer. Uh, they're not going to have... I mean, they might have Discard, but they're not going to have the Force of Wills or anything like that. Everything is coming up. Millhouse, John. Uh, Dominique, hello. First off, hi. Uh, and then he had the kill con for Dream Halls was Conflux for False Cure and Beacon of Immortality. Yeah, absolutely. Or you can attack for 44. I don't know which one you think is better, but I know which one I think is better. And it's uh, this one. Okay. I think that that's it. Yep. Uh, we're just going to be a lean, mean, show-and-tell machine. Um... They probably have something like, uh, well, actually, I don't know. I don't know what kind of hate they're gonna have for us. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out together. They might just have discard plus surgical to try to get rid of our show and tells forever. Oh gosh, yes, please. Island Ponder Keep. This is actually more show and tell attracts a keep and um, Unfortunately, I don't have disruption or interaction, rather. Um, and this might be just a... Oh, it's a bop. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, a couple of Omnis. No, Dream Halls in this deck is kind of like the Omniscience, right? Um, Instead of Omniscience, we are playing Dream Halls. That's kind of the swap. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, yes to all of this. I got Prismatic Endinged last game, so I'm not going to play out the Lotus Petal, um, but I am going to hide the Dream Halls from potential discard. And then I can dream, I can show and tell the dream halls, and then I have blue card pitch, blue card pitch for Atraxa and Maelstrom Wanderer. Oh, mommy. Yes, please. Um, okay. Things are coming up, Millhouse. Um, no. Uh, 
Joe, uh, not Joe. Joe, you said a pair of ponders, and my pair of ponders are gone. I still have show and tell um, with the Atraxa, but I don't have dream halls, which would have been living the dream. I guess I can't have my cake and eat it too. I just have to settle for a three mana Atraxa that draws me between three to five, six cards. Um, I'll be fine. Um, but no disruption, no ponders does kind of hurt it does it does hurt a little bit <clears throat> it's okay yeah uh i don't know if it like it's good for our opponent i don't know if it's the best from our opponent like they could have discard that is better um With surgical, I should say. I don't know. What is this? Three mana for a Knight of the Reliquary? That's uh, decent, actually, because if I don't have the ability to put this Maelstrom Wanderer into play. Dream Halls? Force of Will. Ugh, okay. Well, that came a little too late, but I am going to. Ooh, wait, actually. What I could do is. Um... No, they're just gonna activate it immediately. Okay, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna use my Atraxa to draw a bunch of cards. Um and they have three cards in hand. Let's put this Atraxa into play, draw some cards. Uh mostly just because like this Knight of the Reliquary is going to get their Caracas, unless I can find exactly Lotus Petal Dismember now. Um Okay, I guess I'm glad that I didn't have dream halls. That would have been tough. Okay, now I have dream halls. I have the lotus petal. That was pretty cool. Okay, so Uro, uh, Misty Rainforest, a lotus petal, a dream halls, and a brainstorm. Uh... Yeah, I don't have an Ancient Tomb in here, so I can't cast the Dream Halls immediately um, unless I brainstorm into something ridiculously fun. But five cards. Five cards is pretty good. And then I will play the Lotus Petal out now because... Um, yeah. Oh, Dominic, did you respond to my comment? Uh, the, the Dream Halls uh, comment with, like, conflicts uh, for cure uh the false cure and beacon of immortality i did and this is better but um i don't know if there was a comment before that maybe there was maybe i just missed it completely because i'm a horrible commentator no i didn't see anything okay i didn't miss it um okay <clears throat> cool 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 thanks for the sanity check and uh, okay, their Knight of the Reliquary just gets Caracas, deals with the Atraxa. However, um, I don't know. Maybe they just have like a Swords to Plowshares and I can Force of Will. Uh, X Drinker. Okay, they have one card in hand, which is fine by me. And they're leveling things up. And. Um, I mean, they're going to have a 4-4, four, four, a 4-3, four, and a 6-6. Six, six, six. Um, oh, this could be... I mean, this could be a Gaia's Cradle. I think, yeah, this is a Caracas. Okay, cool, cool, cool. A one of Madoma the Ageless. Wow, I just need to learn what that card does. It turns extra turns with Maelstrom and goes infinite with Caracas. That's disgusting. I should probably look at that. What are the colors? I'm guessing Ageless means that it's mono blue. That sounds like a mono blue card. Um, okay, would love to draw an Ancient Tomb right now. There's two of them. Uh, survey says... Not Ancient Tomb. Let's grab a Brainstorm here. And see if we can get a show and tell. We didn't. 
Uh, getting rid of a Maelstrom Wanderer and a land seems reasonable here. Uh, and actually, you know what? No, I have Uro, so I can convert um, these lands into... Uh, getting rid of one land seems okay. Yeah, let's do that. Getting rid of one land is all right. And then I can get the basic, um, and then Uro, put the other fetch land in. Uh, okay, gain some life because things are going to get a little large. Apex Devastator. Okay, well, I have Dream Halls available and I can do a bunch of really cool stuff once I have that in play. I have an additional Dream Halls as a pitch card to Force of Will. Um... This doesn't have an act doesn't have an activated ability like uh, Outline Liberator does, so we're good there. Caracas is live, so that they're gonna take away my haste. But putting a bunch of Apex Devastators into the battlefield and just like choking their Caracas because they can't do anything seems okay. Uh, two shots at Dream Halls, pitch dress down. Ah, that's probably a better idea. They have one card in hand. Um, Wither Bloom Apprentice. Do I care about this? Probably not. <laughs> hmm. I still haven't found like a Basaju, which would have been really nice to pair with all of this, but um, okay. This is a lot of damage. Hmm. The fact that I might actually have to block with all of these Apex Devastators, I need multiple Apex dev Devastators, is kind of tough. Um, okay, zero cards in hand. We are doing as much as possible. Um, oh, wait a second. I don't have five mana. Why don't I have five man? Oh my gosh, because I didn't keep the land. Uh, um, okay, dress down to draw. Uh, yeah, I put the land back. I just miscounted there. Okay, dress down to draw into the um, show and tell. Nope. Okay, wow. Well, that was that was bad. I fetched. Um, yikes. Where's that punt counter? John, where are you with the punt counter? Uh, okay, they have Surgical. We know about that. I still think that Uro is better than Endurance in this case. Um, actually, you know what? They have Caracas. Maybe Endurance is better than Uro. Um... Wow, Dominique, with the absolute cutting blow, that was, <laughs> ah, that was rude. That was disgusting. Um, okay, well, I'm going to keep this. This is fine. Uh, we'll keep this. I'll remember that I have Force of Will in my hand, and I can pitch uh, probably a one with the multiverse. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Um, Besage to blow up Caracas would have been nice, yes. Um, but it's fine. Um, better than what Bryant would have done. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. You're, you're scraping the bottom of the barrel there. You're like picking the, the worst person to compare yourself against when it comes to giving Jordan crap. Um, it doesn't work like that. All right. Are we, uh, Green Sun Zenith thing, we are, we are. So there's a Dryad Arbor in play and I can uh, ignore that. I'm not gonna dismember a Dryad Arbor. Uh, and then I'm gonna brainstorm on my turn if I don't find land number two. Okay. I would like to convert this Atraxa into a land. I did. 
technically. Um, oh, man. Um, that's going to be... That's going to be tough. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put show and tell on the very bottom and then uh, an Atraxa above it and hope that I don't get wastelanded. Um, Dismember does not seem worth seven life just to hold up. So I think that that's fine. I have two Force of Wills. Um, and I'll pitch one with the multiverse and Maelstrom Wanderer for those. And then I have Show and Tell Atraxa at the end of it all, if I can do all of this. Um, choke. Well, I have to force that. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of the Maelstrom Wanderer. Um, the neutral person that connects us all. Yes, he, yes, he is. Um, okay. Choke is pretty tough. We are talking shit. We're talking shit on me. Uh, okay, now I can pitch the other Atraxa instead of this one with the multiverse. Um, oh man, Bryant coming to bat for me. What a, what a cutie. Uh, that's so sweet. My knight in shining armor. Uh, I need I need that knight in shining armor to make my draws better though. And here is a Green Sun Zenith for two. I think I don't, this is a Gaddock Teague. I need to get rid of this right now. Um, yeah, that was a really bad Brainstorm lock. Um, okay, and now I'm drawing the Show and Tell. Um, I haven't been discarded yet, so I mean, Hiding the show and tell wasn't doing anything, but yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna, I mean, they are missing land drops. Maybe I should dismember the Dryad Arbor. Um, I was not planning on thinking about this, but uh, putting my hands on my hips and I'm sitting in a chair doesn't really work out very well. I wasn't planning on thinking about dismembering the Dryad Arbor, but they have missed land drops and their deck is full of three drops that I don't want them to hit. I'm going to do it. Is it worth four life? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, but we're going to, we're going to see. We're gonna see what happens here. <laughs> Hit the land drop anyway, didn't matter. Hit a three drop anyway, didn't matter. Grist, okay, fine. Um, sure, ooh, Nexus of Fate. That might be a really cool one of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's a pretty fun one. Okay, Grist the Hunger Tide is a toughie. Land, Master Monitor, okay. Okay. Um, I don't hate the Wanderer because that could be my... Okay, so I show and tell one with a multiverse and then I cast Maelstrom Wanderer um, to get just a little bit more out of my show and tell before Grist. Um, this is a creature or planeswalker. Yeah, if they like destroy the Maelstrom Wanderer, then that's fine. Um, because it will have already kind of gotten back some card advantage, hopefully not hitting force of wills that are, you know, half gone, uh, land. Let's see it. Let's see it. Um, grist. That's not an unpleasant way to say that. That's kind of fun. All right. We are already open to wasteland. I'm just going to have some nice mana. I haven't actually even seen a wasteland out of them. Um, have I? No, I don't think so. Okay, do they have... <sighs> okay, should I put in one with the multiverse or should I just put in a Traxa? I don't think that I need to be putting in a Traxa with the Grist on the battlefield. I just need to be playing with the thing that does the thing that I want. They might have an enchantment-based removal. 
They have a bowmaster. That's fine. Okay. I am okay with that. I can cast the Maelstrom Wanderer now. And I'm hitting a Ponder. Fine. Um, I'm okay with that. It's at least going to replace the Wanderer. And then... Put, oh... I'm fuming. Okay. The Force of Vigor pitching Witherbloom Apprentice, which is okay. They have the Chain of Smog combat or combo in here. Okay. Uh, that was really good. Uh, they did have enchantment based interaction and they had the creatures covered as well. Uh, so I was kind of just like, I had to put in the enchantment because I saw the creature removal. I couldn't do anything about that. So I had to put the enchantment in and hope they didn't have anything, but they had the ability to put a trigger on the stack before I could put a Maelstrom Wander on the battlefield. Um, Alex, you open your mouth. You opened your mouth and they had the wasteland. How dare you? How, how could you do that to me? Oh no. Um, man. Okay, this is a positive record. Uh, slowly fading into the ground because I can't play worth a darn. Uh, I knew I was drawing the ponder. I can't do anything about this. This is one, two, three, four, five. Um, I can't actually draw anything. Uh, yeah, I know, Michael. This is this is pretty bad. I'm punting my way into a negative record. Uh, also, thank you for sending me your bio and photo. I appreciate that. Uh, spoilers for the new Infernal Tutoring article, by the way, guys. Uh, okay, I'm going to ponder just because I'm feeling flirty like that. I'm going to die. I might as well die on my own terms by creating lethal. Uh, this is not going to do it. Uh, um, okay. There we go. That was the end of the league. We did not end up with a positive record, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I could cast Brainstorm. We cannot, no. I could not put both the Lotus Petal and the Brainstorm in my hand. I feel like this is better than a 2-3 deck. This is a solid 3-2 deck. And I feel like my play kind of showcased that where I was misplaying into positions where I definitely would have been able to win if I was either thinking things through a little bit better or recognizing my position in the matchup. Um, we didn't hit a lot of blue uh, where carpet came up. I still think that carpet is a good main deck pick. The other option is just like have a couple of Veil of Summers. These are like the blue matches. Sylvan Library is not bad. Sylvan Library would be good against lands as well, I feel like. Um, and then we talked about some things like a uh, Nexus of Fate or a, something called the Ageless, which I'm guessing is a creature that I should probably look up. Uh, actually, you know what? I can do that. Uh, Madoma the Ageless. Okay, um, the Ageless, and then I can look it up and change the quantity to zero. Uh, please. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, six mana, four, four, flying, whatever. Medomai the Ageless, which is why I didn't actually type that because I wasn't sure it was spelled right. Haha. <laughs> uh, deals combat damage to a player, take an extra turn after this one, and then it plus Caracas and Hasty Atraxa, or Atraxa, Hasty Maelstrom Wanderer means that I can um, cast the Medomai, attack with it, gain an extra turn, bounce it to my hand. It's another instance of Metamai because uh, Metamai the Ageless can't attack during extra turns. And then I have infinite turns, infinite damage, and um, I can win that way, which is interesting. I think might be a little bit gimmicky. I think that the Maelstrom Wanderer is all right, but maybe the one with the multiverse is a little bit gimmicky. Um, 
It does allow a little extra reach by casting cards off of the top of the library and kind of being able to set up cascades. I thought that it was pretty okay. But I do like the um, the Nexus of Fate tech. Like maybe, maybe uh, we add in a Nexus of Fate here by getting rid of a carpet of flowers if you want. I don't know. Um, some interesting options. It's definitely more cute than good, Joe. I agree. Uh, it's win more at the expense of stability. I think that that's a good way to put it. The Omni Tell deck struggles when show and tell is no longer an option, and I like the ability to cast Dream Halls. Um, however, the the rest of that maybe maybe cutting down on this side of things where you just play the Atraxas and the Apex Devastators instead of the super hasty boys and the one with the multiverses is okay. And you can build out a package that's a little bit more consistent rather than win more. Um, I don't know. I liked the Uro plan. It came up mm, some. Uh, swaps with Endurance are pretty okay. I wanted the Dismembers to be good, but we never really came across a deck that Dismember was specifically for. Um, but it ended up, yeah, you know, it's fine. Uh, we didn't come up against the Ancient Tomb uh, name sticker goblin decks or the um, initiative decks. So we never really got to try that out. But a hasty Atraxa against them is game over. So we'll see what happens in the future. I don't know what you all think, but I had a lot of fun. I hope that you did as well. Thank you all for hanging out this evening, and I will see you next Thursday. Make sure to check the poll out in the YouTube community section to vote on what I'm going to be playing next. You can hit play Marionette Master, and I will dance for you. That's kind of my role, right? And also check out our new sponsor, KMC awesome sleeves they're um they're really exciting i'm excited to test them out again it's been a few years since i've tried the kmc sleeves um and i have not been super excited with my current brand of sleeves who i've named before but will rename name uh, remain nameless now there we go i can't speak uh but i'm excited to kind of potentially upgrade to kmc i i'm looking forward to it so the perfect hards are fantastic. I use them anyway. Uh, Michael Reed, you play against goblins like twice in a league on average? Yeah, that's kind of been my expectation for this league, which is why I was like, okay, let's play some big boys and win. But no, nope, not today. Anyway, I'm done talking. Have a good night, and I will see you in a week from now.